Um, <sighs> nice. Go. Damn it. Go. What a great way to start I forgot how to fucking open doors. Liam, Liam was practicing his secret moves. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. Now it's time to start. Now, <laughs> okay, no. Wait, stop the recording. I gotta collect hearts for a fucking hour now. Now you have to collect now. hearts. No. Uh, it's only one for hearts. Unless we got the big ones or whatever. Yeah, no, you get the big hearts. That shit's worth a lot. So those, are hearts, those are hearts from freaks. <laughs> I see you like to LP Castlevanias. Yeah, I love to LP Castlevanias. So we um, do them so fast and so bad. I was uh, cleared, I was reading cleared, cleared, the Ultimate wow, Guide to the us. NES, and I was like, we should really do Simon's Quest one day. Pick one, by the way. Which one do you want? Uh, the one closest to us, the viewer. There sure. you go. So on Simon's Quest, I would love to do the it. The translated version, and, the, the updated uh, one. Oh, the updated one. Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, yeah, may as well. Um, Ghostly theater. I, yeah. I was looking for it the other day. And skeletons. <laughs> they skeletons only again. Starts off. This is the base enemy. Um, I was looking for it the other day, and I couldn't find it, but I think I spoke about it one time, where uh, I inherited an NES along with a collection of NES games from uh, a great aunt of mine when she passed away. And one of the things I got was uh, Castlevania and Castlevania Two in box, right? Nice. Uh, so that's yeah, cool right off the bat. But Castlevania Two had a had a hand drawn map that she drew. Ah. Uh, it was just graph paper and pen, but it was a full map of the it's game. It's better than stuff. what the game provides. Yeah, and I was really bummed. So I was looking for it the other day, and I I couldn't find it for some reason. You I have no idea where it, it is. I, no, I, you sold, I don't it, think I sold it for a box it, of juice. It might, honestly, it might be back at my mom's place because I, I think I know exactly where it would be if it is. But I was really bummed to see I couldn't find it because if we do do that LP, I want that map. You know what I get really kind of special that map is if you rent a game and then you get the instruction booklet. Because sometimes when I rent games, yeah, they wouldn't even have the instruction booklet, and I always hope that. When I did get one, I look in the back, I'm like, this fucker that got this game before me wrote down nothing to help me. Getting notes from friends. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you not help? <gasps> yeah! That's, there they are. Whoa. That is a remake. Look, it's tailored to your height. You see? Yeah, I see. Uh. Then what are you supposed to... Oh, maybe use your quick step. Yeah. Nope. nope. Well, I'm gonna go down whoa. here anyway, because I wanted to... There's always good items down at the bottom of these Or rooms. skeletons. One of the two. Have you noticed, like, we've seen, uh, I've got a couple tweets, and I'm sure you've been and see, seen some of them where someone's like, I didn't even know about this game. I went straight on PSN and bought it right away. Yeah, Thanks, no, I did, guys. I did. I was like, whoa, holy shit. It's, like, it's fun. I, I can't believe I thought it was as bad as it was for as long as I did. But the fact it's that it's really like, enjoyable, no it feels like it. Castlevania. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess that's. That, that was the era when Castlevania wasn't performing honestly like that that was why uh konami handed it over to mercury steam was because uh igarashi's era just didn't it didn't save the series at all and and the sales actually declined after i, I, I think, think dawn of sorrow was when they started declining i read a um, thing that there was just like it was a, like i believe it was a hardcore gamer 101 article that just said in the span of this many years in the, in the aughts there was like eight Castlevania games released across yeah, like there was one every portables year. and consoles, and that like that is so confusing for anyone that's trying yeah. to like old school fans are like, wait, which one? Okay, Circle of the Lament of Darkness, what? And then new people don't even like don't even can't bother. even get into that, yeah. Huh? I don't really understand what governs these, but <coughs> when I look in a certain direction, they stop. So... If you don't look at it, it's like a boo. Maybe. Trapped in a dragon skull. Trapped in... It, but it's a boo, but it's a dragon skull that identifies as a boo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, he's monster fluid. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, monster... Well, it's like, you right, know... What do we like, got? We you got know, crystal. Things in nature, like, you know, like, different types of snakes or different types oh, of yeah, whatever. That one. Okay, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll know that there's a type that's very very dangerous like there's a moth yeah that's super poisonous um which one was the new one again it was red right i believe it was red yeah and there'll be another moth that'll be like i'm gonna steal what that oh, guy looks that like does. but i'm totally not poisonous but all the animals will leave me alone because they're super scared of that guy yeah terrified and like coral snakes and that other shitty snake but coral like coral snakes that yeah. sounds scary oh we got <laughs> yeah, so we got no scary. map in this area unlike all the other not ones yet didn't we pick one up? Hey, look at this epic. Listen yeah. to this epic ass music. This sounds it's, like it's really good. This sounds like uh, Lords of Shadow type well, stuff. When I went to to pick a song out for the opening to these el the episodes, right 
I was well. I, I ended up listening to the whole OST. It was fucking nuts. Yeah. I mean, there there was that one dance track I didn't like, but yeah, the, that's that one, one track, track still stands out as uh, I'm not so hot on it as well. What the fuck are you doing? Did you see that guy? He uh, he recombobulated himself. Okay, he's oh, gone I now. No, he just I got it. Oh, he figured out my pattern. Kill me twice, and I'll, then I'll die. I'll trick him this time by dying. What happened at the ghostly theater that is now filled with skeleton warriors specifically? Uh, like, you know what I mean? Some sort of abstract kind of play. Like they were doing this Viking epic play. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got and it. And all exactly. the guys died there. Yeah, they I guess died. The theater catched fire in a horrible pachinko accident. You, you would know. Uh, is there any like scary yeah. grand theater ballrooms in other Castlevania games? I can't remember. Um, I believe there was one in Mirror of Fate. Remember, you're in the yeah, backstage yeah, of absolutely. one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there's the other masks than, and shit. Other than that, um. I, th I can't remember which one. Oh, but, there's there's uh, the there's the 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 dancers, the two dancers that dance together. Yeah, um, Area of Sorrow has an area that's that's kind of that, and there's all those ghost dancers in that area. Yeah. Um, Portrait of Ruin has a carnival area, which isn't quite the same. Yeah, that's close. Um, and I think Order of Ecclesia has an equivalent to what you're looking for, but I I actually remember that one the worst. I, I would love to do a playthrough of that one actually. Um, because I've never actually, I think I said I never actually played Order of Ecclesia. I think I, it's awesome and right. Shino is awesome and whatever. But you never really but went through it significantly. I, I saw someone, since it's, you know, it's. I know I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> that was, what a what a harsh penalty. I love how they just shoot you across the room. Uh, so satisfying. Say, you'll you'll kind of go, oh, you're talking about this again. But remember how Destructo would be like, hey, yes. no one's doing anything for uh, Metroid's 30th anniversary, even though they literally just released a game. Yeah, but it doesn't. But count it doesn't count because we say so. <laughs> but they just wrote an article saying, hey, it's Castlevania's 30th anniversary, and just says, just makes a footnote saying, yeah, there's not any games released. Nope. I guess whatever, but it's Nothing fine. Coming out. Yeah. That doesn't matter. I'm not going to harp on about that. But then it led to a conversation in the comments or whatever, people talking about, like, oh, I just, I, I'm deciding all month I'm going to replay all the Castlevanias. Yeah, as you should, every month. Uh, and they're talking about Order of Ecclesia, and they're just, like, saying, you know what, when this game came out, I really didn't like it. It's the grindiest of all. I don't know if that's accurate, but I, you yeah, I, I'm have not, to I'm grind. not 100% sure. I haven't played it since launch, like, since it actually came out but then the guy so I think said, you have to look in their direction and then they don't interesting shoot. but I don't know they're why like they're so cowardly moves. yeah uh, but then the guy said but now I'm replaying it and I think that's fine it doesn't matter I still like the game or whatever wow that's a weird perspective I was gonna say where does this go to good no it's just if you <laughs> fall down no it's it's still moving this is a different path from the other oh shit you're right so there's, oh secret area so there's two doors I hope this one's not progression. I hope this is the secret. I hope this is Dracula's door. And he's just there? Dracula's bathroom? I'm very excited to see the final boss fight. You yeah, know? for sure. I'm, always... I'm, I'm excited to see another character. Because so it, it's been the, completely silent almost the since the very beginning. In the opening scroll, it mentioned... Uh, 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 the other guy. Conkfist. Your bud. Uh, Conkfist. Uh, and it showed art for him where he looks exactly like... Oh, uh, what's ooh? Oh, during vertical during the launcher. This is the follow-up or go. something. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. What what is? Oh, there you go. It's a free fall. It's a like a design because, follow -up. because you were you were doing a makeshift one, which you were never really getting it, reliably before. Yeah, it worked like once or twice. Because this was the true intent. Yeah, that seems like my best combo now. W which game is it? I think it's sort of a cliche, but like, which one is it where Dracula has a young uh, human version of himself, and then he reveals himself to actually be Dracula? Oh. He's got long black hair, and he's got like wearing white garb. Um. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Wait, long black hair. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I thought you were talking about a thing in order for a second. But long black hair. There's isn't a character that's like, "Hey, I'm to gonna that. help you," but oh, yeah, I'm actually the reincarnation of Dracula, and he nice. reveals itself that that's what he is later. I'm pretty sure it's during a portable game. Um, because there, there's um. There's Arya and Dawn of Sorrow, where there's Genya Arikado. Yes, Arikado. Okay, because he's Alucard, and Soma, yes, Soma mind, is Dracula. That, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, 
uh, Aricado, his art looks exactly like the. It looks, it looks fairly guy. similar, yeah. So could he? Conch fist. <laughs> yeah, it, I think. Well, I think this is like. Remember, if I'm not this mistaken, is like the, this is one of the earliest in the Castlevania timeline. I think uh, of the official ones, I believe it is. Uh, uh, oh God, he's absorbed my life. But Actually, re I but remember really... the list of actual canon Castlevania games has changed, and they take games out and put them back in sometimes. Yeah, but it, like I subscribe to whatever the final list was. I guess. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll... What is this? Calms the mind. <laughs> what a stinky earring. Um, equip. Oh yeah, I don't think I can equip stuff from here. So I have uh, makes you more resistance resistive to lightning. Bloody cape. Uh, damage to hearts and increased intelligence. Right, you Inc have to use the real. Like, what's Sorry, the point of this? Sorry, intelligence. Uh, <laughs> accessory two. Aroma earring. What is that? Like, if you have a, if you have a, uh, it's, it's probably conversation um, with Gandalf and then oh, Liam right? just goes. Duh. And then if you have the thing of intelligence, he you'll be, starts. Speaking you'll be quite eloquently. fetching. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's um, weapon damage, like sub weapon damage. You think that'd just be under sub weapon damage and not intelligence? <laughs> I mean, that's RPG nomenclature. I but guess so. It's you know, there's no magic stat, so it's got to be intelligence. Curse percentage. Yeah, because curse be cool. is not a curse is not binary. It'd be cool if like you know there'd been a Resident Evil game or two and some other survival horror games where being infected is is a thing. Yeah, yeah. It'd be cool if you're turning into a vampire and you have to stop it by the end of the game. That would be kind of neat, actually. Hopefully, Bloodstain will get get on that. <laughs> I don't think that needs it. I yeah, think more I of a story based console thing would probably. Uh, you know, leverage but, that. You know, actually, that's one of the things that I like about Igarashi's Castlevanias is they are like quite story based, despite it being ninety percent gameplay and, and not cutscenes and shit. But but like, whoa, there is a lot of story. Oh, what do we have to do here? I don't know. Yeah, I guess destroy all the statues and something will happen. Didn't we read something about statues or? I think that was in the prior area. I think it was too. Oh fuck. That's ah, fine. Ooh. Ancient text two. When the bell tolls thrice under the stage, the curtain will rise. Yeah, that's, okay, so yeah. it's good information. Since we're in the ghostly theater. Man, are we actually gonna have to figure stuff out? Is that where this is going? No way, man. But I don't think we did anything with that last ancient text. I don't remember us following up on that. Yeah, no, me neither. Oh well, there's there's paintings in this room. Was there, there stuff about are. paintings? Look, this statue's broken now. Oh, you gotta break them with the the things, I think. What? Yeah, no, I thought that's what you were doing. No, I, I was just dodging around and looking around the room. Oh, because as soon as I saw, like, a very breakable statue, I'm like, I assume you have to have all these things break it. There we go. Okay, so let's just break all these. I think it was, like, that one and the blue one. Okay, what so I really... What was that? Have... That, made a, that made, like, a death noise. Okay, that's all the red it. ones are down. Okay, cool. Why not the blue? Why... I don't know why not the blue. Why are they racist? So we've missed a door back there, so I guess we'll just keep going because there's a, bu a bunch of paths opening up. In I'm front surprised of us. you haven't gotten a different type of whip. Yeah, I know. We've only had like one weapon for a while. I want the fire whip. Well, I definitely feel like what's going to happen is like when we finish Ooh. all these five areas, it's going to be that'll be like the halfway point in the game or something. And then the 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 castle will flip upside down. Well, yeah, because I mean, there's that whole path leading out the the front of the castle. You remember? This this isn't well. Uh, I don't I mean, think this people, is the true... People have talked about now how I can't read how to beat uh, how stats. How long to beat? Uh, but, wait, uh, wait, what was the confusion with that anyway? I'm, when I'm curious. You, when you go to Omicron yeah. and how long to beat, the first thing that pops out is main story and it says seven hours. Right. But that's like the... That's the, like gunning it. That's like the gunning it and that's if we're not playing... Where yeah. we're getting lost every three seconds. Yeah. So everyone's like, it's actually more like 10 to 12, I bet. Right. And I'm like, whatever, it's seven hours. And they keep saying it's seven hours. <laughs> it's just the longest seven hours in the world. But for this... It fucking sounds like it is. But for this, and you are not getting lost, really, but... We're, we're, we're making pretty good time, not dying. That I so. believe it also said something like seven to eight hours. Right. So I don't think this is... A, a super long game. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. So I would, I'd be surprised if there's like, if we're at the fifty percent point after yeah, clearing all five the, areas. The the only reason I say it is because like, because you're right, the map data doesn't support it either. Where we have like fifty one percent of the map uncovered or something. Yeah, shit. right now. Um, 
It would, now we have even more, yeah. But, like, we haven't seen another weapon. We haven't seen any other characters. We fought, what, three like, bosses? Uh, you yeah, fought the, three, the, three bosses, yeah. The Medusa, the Golem, and uh, that weird plant Something thing. Something like that, yeah. Man, there's a lot of doors, lots of branches. Like, I, you'd think there'd be a cutscene of Dra not maybe of Dracula, but a cutscene of, like, whoever you're trying to save, his girlfriend, uh, just saying, hey, I need help or something. Where you at, though? Gotta find you. You're mine. You're legally my property. Not Dracula's. <laughs> It's 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 literally the year 1096. They're in love. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, that's, that that follow up's yeah. really strong. And it's not quite. It's weird because I've said we've said before, and like the the intent or or whatever, and the games out of the time is that like, hey, it's trying to be Devil May Cry, but not really. It it totally has its own feel. Like I completely yeah. see the Devil May Cry comparisons, and they're valid. But I think that's more just because, like, they're action games with a measure of thought with fixed camera angles. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, honestly, it's like, I, like, kind of how Lords of Shadow was. It's like, I, I kind of feel yes. that in 3D, Castlevania would sort of be, like, God of War or whatever. You have, like, this whip. Yeah. There's, there's easy enemies to take care of and big bosses, and it's in a particular horror -y fantasy setting. Yeah, I don't like their interpretation, but I don't think it's wrong. Like, so there's I, think a guy... they, I think they got what they wanted, and I think it's relatively accurate to Castlevania. When, when this LP started, there's a guy, and I think he's wrote a comment here, too, just saying, oh, I can't stand any of these things, because I know they're going to shit all over Lords of Shadow, and I will not, I refuse to let anyone shit over Lords of Shadow. <laughs> and someone goes, no, I think Matt says he likes it, and it's not Liam's cup of tea, but other than that, they don't shit on it. No, it's... We shit on Lords of Shadow, too, and that... Yeah, Lords of Shadow 2 is pretty poor. <laughs> The um, best part of it is the art book that I have. Yeah, the art is absolutely wonderful. In you that never game. got that though, right? The no, no, never. Lost. I've never seen it's it. It's fucking awesome. We haven't found a save point in a little while too. Um, I need it's to true. remember how to use your fucking magic, like the what the, do you the, mean? the the spell. You remember? Oh, pose. They look a lot like pose. Yeah, I can see the the comparison. Pose with with bloody swords though. Ugh, okay, guess. so that's. Gar oh yeah, it was guard and something else. Yeah, circle. There okay, go. there we go. I should okay. practice more often, shouldn't I? You should practice. I re I I know we've talked about this a bunch, but like breakable walls, do they exist? I have not found. I fucking any, want to uh, know. I like how the follow up works job. even on like enemies who stay grounded. Right, right, right. Satisfaction. Uh, when I was doing a stream, a Super Nintendo oh, stream. Is, is that a save? Point the blue doors? Maybe. Hopefully. I believe it's, I think, it's always yeah, blue inside. Perfect. I was doing a Super Nintendo stream and I was playing uh, Castlevania 4. So yeah. I, I own Castlevania. You know, it's I actually, own, it's actually funny. When you, were, when you first announced that stream on Twitter right beforehand, I wasn't really doing anything that day and I thought to myself, I should go over unannounced and just get there during you the stream. You could, you could, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, but I was like, ah, if, if Matt's not feeling good, I don't want him to yell at me on screen uh, when, again. When was I not feeling, uh, the, the, the stream prior that didn't work out and then just like everything was shitting the bed and I just oh, had yeah. to fucking cancel it. And I was feeling real crap. Uh, and then, yeah, that would have been, I would have, that would have been a great time then, <laughs> but that would have been fine. Oh. Uh, but I, I own Castlevania 4. On the Wii, the Wii U, and the 3DS. And every machine where it exists. Yeah. yeah. Not because it's like, I absolutely adore it. I, I like it a lot. But I just, like, why not? Yeah. I've never actually finished that game. It's really tough. It's not. I'm, I, I've am i only played it once, to be it's fair. It's the easiest but... one. Is it? Well, I would say it's the easiest one, but it's like... It's the one where you have the most control, and you can take care, and you can control the, the your jump. The, the easiest, like, old-school Castlevania, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I would say, like, Weird Dawn of Sorrow, or, like, the or the Mercury Steam games are the easiest ones. Actually, no, the Mercury Steam games, without a doubt, are the easiest ones, but... Uh, but, uh, I... I okay, I was, these guys just respawn infinitely. I was getting reasonably, uh, reasonably far, and, uh, I was like, oh, okay, well, I want to switch games now, and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, Bob... B.O.B. No, not Bob. Never That's Bob. one of the best Castlevania games. You don't even believe your own lies at this point. I believe <laughs> that Bob must be a good game. Oops. 
That's one thing though about fixed camera angles is that you you Just couldn't have tell. orientated that any better because it wouldn't let you. Damn it. Oh, don't look at us. Um, so I gotta... Ooh. How do I... Yeah, I... Maybe take a practice jump backwards to see if you can keep your... Your orientation? I don't think you can. Well... Uh, actually... Try your best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hope for it. I don't think you can. I think when you change your direction, you have to change your orientation, so... Change I'm gonna direction. I'm gonna take another go at this route. Uh, look at his hips swivel. He's like, oh, how seductive! You love that dragon, dragon faces. Yeah. Oh, I see. Both paths are are totally valid. I don't think that actually. I don't understand how you get by that way though, because I don't. Maybe I think it, you maybe have you're to not rotate, supposed to. So maybe it's a troll. I think it's a trick, because it looks like a. Fast it's a trick route. of Dracula's castle. You gotta go the slow route. So. I mentioned before, I'm really excited to see the final boss fight because Dracula always has these ridiculous. Yeah. I'm specifically thinking of Rondo, where Ooh, he's just black got, turtle. He's just key. the big fucking a devil key, god in a speedo. A key named after a black, black holy beast. beast. A turtle. Brennan Williams. Um. <laughs> so I guess that's like, is that like the first like major what seems to be like progression key item we've gotten it, it, right now yeah i think so let me let me validate that aside from maybe the ancient text yeah we got a bunch of ancient text which is going to be pretty key what was it again tapestry oh, yeah we did yeah we did that one. we yes, did that yes. one uh scorching statue is frozen uh and the bell under the under the stage but yeah that's the first like key we've gotten or anything like that so uh -huh. The intrigue rises, and since, this is a dead end, thank God, so we can finally since this is go back to all the, the first doors. in the timeline. I want to see what their what Dracula would possibly be. Can can you like Google that? Because I want to make a hundred percent sure. Because I do think it is first in the timeline. No, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure. I'm sure you it are? is. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. again, I, you know, I reference it often in the game trailer's retrospective. Like said, yeah, okay. unequivocally, this is the first in the timeline where it was kind of like a reboot, going all the way back to 2096. Okay, yeah. Which is of the Castlevania games that do mention a date. That's the earliest. Yeah, just making sure. Uh, 1990. 2096? No, sorry, 1096. 1096, sorry. okay. One. You said 2096, sounds like that's after Dawn that's, of Sorrow. Yeah, like, yeah. Because <laughs> Dawn of Sorrow is the furthest ahead as far as that's I know. That's after the Great oh, Vampire War. I mean, when does um, Lords of Shadow 2 take place? I believe it does give a date, but yeah. I can't remember. It but that's, that's not earlier. That's not canon along with the rest, yeah, no, though. It's, it's in its, its own it's, canon. It's of, yeah. It's, it's of like its own Like the three accord. Dawn of Sorrow games have their own canon. Uh, Dawn of Sorrow. Um... Mercury Steam games. Okay, so I guess we'll just start cutting through the. Uh, like, see, there's like f tons of empty space that we haven't explored, so. Yeah, I guess so. Not having a map makes that tricky. But at the same time, the intrigue. The same time, the mystery. Leon's just like, this is really fun. I'm having a really good time in this <laughs> you, Dracula's castle you know, place. It's a good thing my combat abilities are without question, which is the weirdest. Yeah. What a dumb okay, way so to. Okay, so this is not. This door's nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's like trying to get Leon over by just explaining his combat abilities are second to none. Why? Why what do you do? Where do you train? What's, yeah. what's up with this? Give me more information, guys. No, they're they're amazing. Oh, Carmella. He's incredible. You cry bloody tears. Can I make it without the fucking dog? You yeah, can. Get out of here. Okay. Huh? It just seems like a bunch of little side. And well, there's hallways. there's still a door. Yeah, there's like there's still, there's still a bunch, and like up here, there's Look, a whole other branch. Now we're at fifty-seven. Yeah, we're making it. Oh, but it was you like know, like a ghostly like theater. Well, some games go up to two hundred percent. So. That's true. Oh, dogs. Just doggos. Shadow Wolf, sorry, Shadow Wolfies. Totally different. My dog's name is Max. Comboing dogs. It's like Dracula's just watching from on high. We tons just of going, powers. Oh. oh, there's masks on the wall. Cool. So we oh, must be getting close to that stage or something. We are the ghostly theater. Oh, you know what? This is practical for breaking... Like, short hopping is actually practical oh, for breaking the, um, uh, der, the lanterns. La braziers. So there must be something in here. Brass. I hear noise, and... It sounds like a saw. 
Or, or maybe the lasers? That's from that's the... a really cool ghostly theater where you have to dance with saws and lasers around. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it could be from there. It gets closer when you get close to us, the viewpoint, the yeah. sound. Okay, so the, the... What a weird room. The info we had was about uh, tapestries, which there are none, and right. bell under the stage. Ring um, three times. I'm inclined to say that there's something above here, because there is a second floor, which what? I fucking forget how to navigate between the floors. Uh, for the map? This yeah, you love the map. Nightmare. This one dude, F. it's a fucking nightmare. Unless you haven't even gotten to 2F yet. Uh, Switch floor is circle. Circle, okay. Well, I would think it's back, but... <laughs> yeah, you would okay, think there, that. Okay, there is a second floor here, You so. would think that, you fucking idiot. But it's one of those games where triangle is back, so I need to... Yeah, no, I get it. 